Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to today's video. It is just after Christmas, in between Christmas and New Year's, and this is the time where you get to usually just relax, but if I'm being honest, I'm having issues with feeling like I can relax, so I am going to be doing quite a bit of stuff this week, but I wanted to take you guys along. I am just sorting all of the stuff that I got for Christmas, so I'll show you guys that in the next clip, but yeah, that's pretty much where my head's at right now. Also, the very first thing that I will say that I got for Christmas was this wonderful camera. So we are upping our video game and I'm so excited. It is so pretty. Okay, so the very first thing I got were these two lovely plants. Also got this beautiful candle. It's a little bubble candle. It looks so freaking cute, guys. I love it so much. I got this clock, the order of the day little to-do list that I can use to get my stuff all organized every day. I'm super excited for that. Got a hard waxing kit because I asked for that. This I'm very excited about. Um, Drunk Elephant came out with a, a whole kit. And so this is what's in the kit. And I'm really excited about that. Of course, I got a bunch of chocolate, a bunch of candies. This is all like hair stuff, hair elastics. I got the Summer Fridays jet lag face mask. Got some more face masks, a little loofah thing, some soap, more face masks. I got these reusable straws, which I'm super excited about. These little pineapple lights, look at them. They're so cute. Some bath bombs, because you can never go wrong with bath bomb. A friend's calendar, which is my absolute favorite show, if you guys didn't know. A Bruch toothbrush. I am so freaking excited for this, guys. I can't even tell you. So that's what it looks like. And it's got all of these different settings on it. And of course, it's got like stuff down there. Got some roller balls from Victoria's Secret. My absolute favorite scents. Some essential oils. It's the Sweet Dreams kit. And to go along with that, I got this Sage Diffuser. Obviously, in the SD card I have in my camera right now. An expansion pack. I needed this so badly. And it's five terabytes. I'm so excited. I got some fuzzy socks, some shoes. And then, like I said, this camera. So something I got that I already put out was this mug that says I'm addicted to chocolate and I actually put the chocolate that I got for Christmas in here as well. And it's gonna sit on my desk for a bit until I can get rid of that and then I will start drinking coffee out of it. <laughs> It is now Wednesday, December 29th, and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, almost 11.30 actually, and I have been spending the morning doing my MCAT studying, and I have been so enthralled with that that I haven't even eaten today, so I'm starving. I need to get something into my stomach. But yeah, that's pretty much how I spend my morning. Nothing too exciting, but we're going to get some more stuff done. I might film some videos. We will see. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a lot planned this month. I have to finish up some Anki cards. I have each chapter broken down onto the days and they are in yellow. And then when I finish them, I change them over to purple. And then I have cards in pink here. And so then I have my Anki cards. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going through the chapters. I am making Anki cards, I'm reviewing everything, and then what I'm going to do is starting January 1st, and I'm still starting January 1st for this, I'm going to start doing 150 to 200 Anki cards per day. That way I am reviewing the content, I am bumping up my cars to three to four cars per day instead of one to two cars per day, and that's just to get me used to the cars section because cars is very difficult and for Canadian schools, that is the most important section of your MCAT. So I'll be doing specific question packs for certain days, and then I have kind of off days, I guess you could say. 
just doing Anki cards and cars that day and that is not something that I want to do. I feel like that's just not enough work for one day. If you're like me at all, the one thing that I've realized this winter break is that once I stop being busy, it makes me very anxious and I don't know what to do. So I like to continue to be busy and I want to get this done. I want to do it right. So that's what we're working on. So anyway, so I'm going to push all this and I will probably recalibrate some of this and uh, we've got question packs and section banks. Then I'll do section banks and then I start my full length reviews on February 15th. We'll do full lengths from February 15th all the way up to my MCAT day. So that gives me about a month of doing full lengths and reviewing and that is it. At that point, I will have done enough practice questions that I'll know what to expect and if there are any gaps in my knowledge, I can quickly fill those in, but I'm really hoping by that point there aren't any gaps in my knowledge. I'm not gonna be perfect. So having that full length review day and then having two days after that before another full length, I can do some sort of content review in there. So that's pretty much my MCAT schedule. Of course, I have that on top of my normal schooling. So it's been quite busy, but we're making it work. <laughs> here that I'm going to eat. I have so much food. I don't think I'm going to finish this all, but I'm going to try. And then I have my little uh, water bottle that I've been using. I love this water bottle. Um, right now it's getting a little condensation -y. It's probably the most expensive water bottle of my life and I meant to return it and totally forgot. So we're just going to use it and love it. And I don't recommend anybody spend this much money on a water bottle. but it does keep the water cold, I'll give you that. All right guys, well that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure that you are subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.